I am going like a lamb to the slaughter, but I am as calm as a summer's morning. I have a conscience void of offense toward God and all men, and it shall be said of me, he was murdered in cold blood. Thursday morning, June 27, 1844, dawned hot and humid at Carthage Jail. It was raining a little. Two days before, Joseph Smith and his brother Hiram, along with several others, had been illegally arrested, placed under armed guard, and locked in the debtor's cell. The jailer was sympathetic, and soon the prisoners were allowed to move about freely eating their meals in the parlor, and sleeping at night in the jailer's bedroom upstairs. <laughs> it was a little after 5 a.m. when Joseph was awakened by the arrival of the day's first visitors. Some brought letters from friends and family, Others, reports from the saints at Nauvoo. Cyrus Wheelock brought a gun. It was a busy morning, and although Joseph tried to be encouraging, he closed his final letter to his wife, Emma, by saying, I am very much resigned to my lot. Give my love to the children and my friends. So the morning passed. By afternoon, the atmosphere changed. Visitors were forbidden entry and driven away. Outside, men gathered in small groups, swearing, threatening, planning the death of the prophets. Now only John Taylor, Willard Richards, Hiram, and Joseph remained inside. Trying to raise their spirits, John Taylor sang, he asked if I for him would die. The flesh was weak, my blood ran chill, but the free spirit cried, I will. They talked quietly for a while. A little after five, the jailer came up, suggesting that they would be safer in the cell next door. Joseph replied, we'll go in after supper. A strange stillness settled on Carthage. faces rushed to jail. The guards faked resistance. A shot through the door killed Hiram. Another smashed the lock. As the door flew open, the brethren jumped to one side. Joseph's gun misfired. John Taylor ran to the window. Falling severely wounded, he rolled under the bed. Joseph ran to the same window. Thursday evening, June 27, 1844, was hot and humid in Carthage, Illinois, but the rain had stopped. 